The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 13, verses 21 to 33, 36 to 38. While at supper with his disciples, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, I tell you most solemnly, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, wondering which he meant. The disciple Jesus loved was reclining next to Jesus. Simon Peter signed to him and said, Ask who it is he means. So leaning back to Jesus' breasts, he said, Who is it, Lord? It is the one, replied Jesus, to whom I give the piece of bread that I shall dip in the dish. He dipped the piece of bread and gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. At that instant, after Judas had taken the bread, Satan entered him. Jesus then said, What you are going to do, do quickly. None of the others at table understood the reason he said this, since Judas had charge of the common fund some of them thought Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival, or telling him to give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the piece of bread, he went out. Night had fallen. When he had gone, Jesus said, Now, has the Son of Man been glorified, and in him God has been glorified. If God has been glorified in him, God will in turn glorify him in himself, and will glorify him very soon. My little children, I shall not be with you much longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I am going, you cannot come. Simon Peter said, Lord, where are you going? And Jesus replied, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now. You will follow me later. Peter said to him, Why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Lay down your life for me? Answered Jesus, I tell you most solemnly, before the cock crows, you will have disowned me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, all of us have friends in different modulations and different gradations. There are some friends who will be with us during our most troublesome times. There are some friends who will remain with us when we have riches and material goods and power. There will be some who will be with us in our sufferings and struggles when we are in the hospitals and when we are suffering with some sicknesses. Friendships are of different, different types. Look at the life of Jesus in the Gospel of today. He is troubled in spirit while at supper. And he says to his disciples, someone among you is going to betray me. 
and they are all anxious. They want to know whether it is somebody else or Jesus is having a feeling that they, as individuals, someone may be betraying. They would like to know if even they are involved in this. They do not have the full idea even about the betrayal, what it really means. But then Peter, who is always in the foremost to know what is going to happen, because the ideas that he has in his mind are totally different from the reality. He is more thinking in a normal human pattern way. And he asked John, the beloved disciple of Jesus, who was reclining at Jesus, signing him, asked Jesus who it is. And when John asks, Jesus says, someone to whom I will give a piece of bread after I have dipped in the dish, and he gives it to Judas. But he prompts to Judas, saying, Go, do what you have got to do, what you have already planned to do. And Judas walks out. At that time, all of them think that Jesus has sent him for a work, either to buy something for their program or to give some money, some contributions to the needy, the poor because he was holding the treasury of their ministry. And in the bargain, as he goes out for his betrayal work, here the disciples are all anxious. They still do not know who it is. And then Peter, out of his excitement, when Jesus says that he will be handed over he cannot come where he is going, including the Jews and they themselves. And Jesus says, you can come, but not now. You can come afterwards, later. So Peter does not understand what Jesus means. And Peter, out of his excitement, he says, Lord, I am ready to do anything for you. I am ready to die for you. Jesus already knew how weak Peter was. He says, before the cock crows, you will deny me thrice. Peter was stunned, shocked. Of course, in reality, it happens. But at that time, you can know what agony our Lord is going through. Jesus Christ, he who worked in this world for the salvation of all, he who forgave the sinners, he who healed the sick, gave sight to the blind, made the cripple walk, he who showed mercy towards the sinners, and who showed compassion and affection towards the poor. So my dear friends, we as Christians are called to be firm in faith, even to any extent of betrayal in our lives, even when we have to experience persecutions, we have got to remain firm in our faith in Jesus Christ. Let us ask our dear Lord at this time to strengthen us that we may be very faithful to Jesus and may follow him very strongly, very faithfully. Amen.